Every other way of life, whether it be Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianism, Communism, every ism, Islam is destined to master them all. Sawalau kari hal kafirun. No man, how much the unbeliever might not like it. And he repeats the same formula in the Quran again. And he ends by saying, Walau kari hal mushrikun. No man, how the mushrik might not like it. This is the destiny of his deen. And he repeats the same formula. Again in the Quran, three times. He says, Huwa allazi arsala rasoolahu bil huda. He it is who has sent his messenger with guidance. Wa deen al haq And with the religion of truth. Li yuzi hira huwa la deen kulli. That it may prevail, overcome and supersede every other deen. Bulldoze them all. Wa kafa billahi shaheeda. And enough is Allah is a witness to this fact. That is going to make his deen to prevail with you or without you. But we human rubbish. I said, all of you, you and me. Allah is giving us that opportunity. To serve his deen. Do a prophet's God and earn a prophet's reward. Allah has given you the answers, solution to the problems. Help them and by helping them you help yourself. Change them and you have changed the world. We have a calm. The knowledge of God will rise from the West. And this nation is hungry. They go for anything. Anything goes here. They worship Sun Myung Moon. They worship Guru Maharaj, Swami Parvupada. They worship the, the Maharishi. They worship Father Divine. They used to worship his dead now. Father Divine. They are, you have the Satan worshipping cult here. Anything, everything. The nation is hungry, he's frustrated, he doesn't know what to do. They see all the filth around them, they don't know what to do. Anything that comes across, they grab. What's wrong with you? I said, there's something wrong with you, you Muslims. Two million here, all like emasculated people. Wallah, now you get such inferiority complexes, beyond imagination. In this country here, the most advanced country on earth, civilized with all this technology, you are like spineless people, wallah, spineless Muslims. More especially I'm talking about those who have come from the East. Whether you are an Arab or a Pakistani or a Bangladeshi or Indonesian, all spineless people. What you have done to me when I came here in 77, what are you doing to me now? I can see spineless people, emasculated people, castrated people. You've got no spirit, no whim, no energy, no militancy in you. I come in 77, I had a lecture tour. And I phoned from New York to a station further west. Muslim habitation, population. I said, now I'm coming. He says, what will you lecture on? Subject. I says, what the Bible says about Muhammad. It's a very good starter. Very easy to get started about comparative religion. That book. That subject. He said, right. According to the appointed time and date, I arrive. What have you advertised? They give me a pamphlet, not like this, but small leaflet, what do you call it, flyer. It says there, a prophet in the Bible. Ahmad Didad will speak on a prophet in the Bible. I said, you understand English, you university students, you monkeys, a prophet. I said, what is a prophet? You know what a means? You don't know. It means any prophet. A means any, it's an indefinite article, it means any prophet in the Bible. There are some 75 mentioned here. Any one of those. Are you interested in any prophet in the Bible? Is the Christian interested in any prophet in the Bible? Is the Jew interested in any prophet in the Bible? No, your inferiority complex. I say what the Bible, you're too terrified to even write those words. Another group, I say Muhammad the greatest. When I go there, they advertise Muhammad the great. Equating my prophet with Alfred the Great, the guy who burned the cake, or Alexander the Great, the pagan. What's wrong with you sick people? Emasculated. I said, the whole lot of you, I can see, I don't know. But Allah, in His mercy, He says, He says, do not despair. La taqnatu min rahmatillah. Do not be despair of the mercy of Allah. I would not be Muslim like if I did despair. But I said, there's something wrong with you people. You better wake up. Wallah, it's an opportunity Allah is giving you in this, in this time and age. In this age of technology, Allah has sent you here for reasons best known to you why you are here. But what an opportunity. They are thinking it's making the Christians mouth water when they see you. Look, the, tonight the people giving you literature. It's making the mouth water. You expatriates, you come here. He says, man, this is good stuff. Easy stuff, easy meat. You are easy meat. They don't have to go to Malaysia, Indonesia, Bangladesh to preach. They can preach from their home base. They can sleep with the wife and children and they can come and preach to you. 
language. They don't have to learn your language, you have learned their language. Culturally, you are westernized. From every point of view, they feel that you are God sent to them. I said, yes, you are God sent to do a job of work also. Change them! People who can worship anything, everything, why won't they will not accept Allah Bari Ta'ala? Why won't they? The reason is you don't open your mouth. You know why you don't open your mouth? You're too terrified. You're suffering from a host of inferiority complexes. Get them out of you. Open the Quran, read the Quran, and let Allah speak to you. <laughs> Allah will do it for you. Allow His book to touch you, your heart. And inshallah, allow Allah to talk to you. And He's talking to you in the Quran. He's talking to you and me and to every passerby in the street. Let Him talk to you. And you will not be able to sit on your backside doing nothing. Waiting for the other people to come and mess, make a mess of you, to use you as a punching bag, to use you as a doormat, to want to make mess in your head. Is that the wrong? Allah says no. And enough is Allah is a witness to this fact that he's going to make his deen to prevail. It's a privilege Allah is giving you. Take it.